Thanks to the success of the SAG After Strike in 2023, most on-screen talent is set up to be paid a more livable wage. Still, there are some certain icons who get paid an enormous sum of cash to appear in a movie. But who has been paid the very most to appear in one movie? That actor would be screen legend Jack Nicholson, with the role of the Joker in 1989's Batman. In order to lock him up for the picture, a pretty lucrative deal was set up. Essentially, he wasn't just going to be paid a flat sum of cash up front. Nicholson was set to receive a percentage of the final box office and profits from merchandise. The final amount isn't quite certain, but one thing is for sure, Jack Nicholson walked away from his experience in Batman as the highest paid actor for one single movie. By today's standards, Batman isn't the most explosive or exciting movie about the caped crusader that's ever been made. But Tim Burton built Gotham City into its most gothic form yet. Superhero movies aren't remotely this stylish anymore, nor are they this lively. Michael Keaton occupies the titular role of Batman, but might be even better as Bruce Wayne. But somehow, Michael Keaton doesn't occupy the top billing spot in this movie. It should be a surprise to no one that Jack Nicholson's name is placed first and foremost on the film's iconic poster. Nicholson was already a movie icon by the time this movie came out. By the late 80s, he had already been nominated for numerous Oscars for his work in movies like Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, The Last Detail, Chinatown, Ironweed, and more. He even won Best Actor for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, an award that will cement anyone into becoming a bona fide Hollywood star. Keaton was a reliable screen presence at this time, but there's no way he could be marketed as a better draw than his Clown Prince co-star. From the get-go, his initial contract for Batman promised him $6 million up front, a financial knock by his usual terms, considering he typically made $10 million every time he signed on for a picture. However, he also requested that he be paid a percentage of the final gross. Along with all this other cash, Nicholson was guaranteed a cut of any profits stemming from Joker-related merchandise. Batman was a marketing and merchandising juggernaut, with toys, costumes, a video game, and more being made in its wake. It hasn't been confirmed what the defined percentage of the final gross was, nor do we know exactly how much Nicholson made off Joker-related merch. What we do know is that the total combined earnings added up to almost $90 million, which amounts to $194 million after adjusting for inflation. Drumming up a deal like this was completely unprecedented at the time, and it's unlikely that anyone will be able to come along and dethrone him anytime soon. 